and the queen of the soul. Yeah. 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 Comrades all, I want to start by bigging up South St. James for their performance in the local government election. And interestingly, I want to particularly big up Comrade Raymond Reddington McIntyre. Because I know the enormous effort he put in. He was a pillar of strength for your Queen of the South. And because he was disappointed and fell a little short, don't mean we should underestimate the fact that he cut the margin by over 500. I want to pause and welcome Comrade Patricia Duncan Sullivan, President of the Women's Group. And comrades, I particularly speak to the performance in the Anchovy Division because we must ensure, we must ensure that we never let it go back to where it was in terms of the margin that the JLP won by the last time. Because what we had in February was the first thing, was just the first thing of the race. And as we're coming out of Olympics, we're a little disappointed because we are custom to do it better than we did this time around. And I hear one man say, it's because that is blinking bell when they ask the people for real. It demotivates the athletes them because they're never worrying of it. But time to come. Time to come. And I am predicting world champs. Next year, we will do much better. Under a PMP. <laughs> Under a PMP. But comrades, this is just a private session, supposedly. Yes. But when I came here this afternoon, I said, this never looked like a private session. <laughs> but perhaps it reflects the level of organization that is going on in South Central. And I will tell you, as the candidate for South Manchester, which is probably the only seat as big as this one, geographically. Well, I'm telling the donor that is that I am the candidate for South. As a recently appointed candidate, for South Manchester. I thought I had retired. But perhaps it is the constituency that resembles this one the most in terms of the huge size of the constituency. And because of that, I can appreciate the commitment and the passion that Comrade Nikisha Virgil has brought to the role of candidate in South Central. It is a tough constituency in terms of the size. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of endurance. It takes a lot of passion and feeling and commitment. And Comrade Virgil has brought all of that to the table. As not just the Queen of the soul, but as somebody who is strong constituency. We don't know when they will call the election. But Comrade Bobby Pickers Gill, Chairman Emeritus, always said, if you can't predict, you must prepare. And so I encourage everyone. Not to say uh, we can take a break now and that we can relax 
We have our new counselors. You know, they can relax. Comrade Swave, you can't go back to tourism all the time. Comrade God can't go back to GPS all the time. They have to ensure that they don't ease up the pace that they use in their own local government election when it comes to the general election. And Comrade Kelly up when we're I know, I know the people who will be on the campaign trail. He does this. So comrades, I encourage you to build upon the foundation which you set in February. Don't think that this is the end. Don't become complacent and say because we would have won the constituency in February, we must take it for granted. This is not the end of the campaign. It's not even the beginning of the end. You may say the end of the beginning, and you're just getting into the campaign now. So I encourage you to redouble your efforts to ensure that not just that you get a member of parliament who really cares about the people of South St. James, but that you get a government and a prime minister who puts people at the center of all your development. I was here last year and I said, look, don't tell me about tourism doing well if tourism workers are not doing well. We will judge that things are good when the average person quality of life improve. It's not just based on macroeconomics. It's based on the quality of life of the people. And that is what how the PNP differentiates itself from the other side. And if we keep that at the center of our focus, at the center of our plans and programs, then the people will not disappoint us because they will see that we are sincere and they will ensure that whenever the time is gone, that time comes.